Hey everybody, I'm really excited because my plaster paints just arrived from the plaster paint company and so we are going to be um, starting doing the cabinets here in the next couple of days, but I wanted to give you an update and show you just how good our paint job is looking. So let me see if I can turn around the camera. All right, so... You know, yeah, it's messy. Oh, there's my grandson's toys. But um, it's, you know, obviously still discombobulated in here. However, um, I'm thinking the paint job looks great. I mean, you can see up inside the cabinet there, the old wall. And then you can see down here below the new wall color. So it's not a huge change, but I think it does make a difference. And looking down our hallway, it's going to look so good when all the cabinetry is painted and we get our furniture back in here. I'm really excited about that. So the couch is removed, as you can see, on both sides. And it is currently being recovered, going to be done on Wednesday. Um, we got some awesome fabric that you guys are going to love um, from Silverstone Fabrics. And I can't wait to show you that when we get that back. And so hopefully we'll have our motorhome ready. And then we're going to put in our floor just as soon as we're done with our painting. And it should be good. Let's go see the bedroom because uh, we painted the entire bedroom also. So again, I mean, not a big, huge difference, but obviously you can see that there is a change. Look around the bedroom here. So yeah, so it just kind of brightens up the space a little bit and it's going to be a lot easier to uh, match all of the rest of our um, accessories too. So we just have a nice clean white base to get started with. Again, so you can see the difference that we came from up here on top and uh, what we went to. So just kind of a clean white look, but I'm excited to get done with the rest of it. Now I do want to just show you a couple of the products that we used down here. Now I am not sponsored um, or being paid for <laughs> any of these recommendations. So I um, just want to let you know that. But I did lots of research, and um, by and large, the consensus was to use a gripper primer. And so we did that. It's by Glidden. And then we use Bear just because we have Home Depot handy, and we don't have a paint store here that carries um, Sherwin Williams or. Um, that other big one I can't think of the name of. But anyway, um, so they have the, so Bear has a marquee paint, which is a one coat. It is a paint and primer together, and it is supposed to be the only thing that you need to use. However, um, inside a trailer, the wall is not your typical drywall. So um, it does not need to stick the way that it would stick to a drywall. Um you know, in order to be considered a one coat. Um, so we chose, because we don't like to redo things and we like to get it done right the first time. And also we did talk with people who used a one coat and had some peeling. Um, they were in a moisture climate, but still we might travel to a moisture climate. So um, we wanted to do it well. So we did this all purpose Glidden Gripper White Primer and Sealer. And then we followed up with this Marquee Bear One Coat. Um, and we are doing two coats and we did that in what is comparable to Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. Um, we use that as our uh, paint inspiration and Bear doesn't have a color called Alabaster, but that's what um, this is. It's um, Alabaster. So you can just go in there and tell them you want Alabaster by Sherwin-Williams and they can do a paint match in their computer, which isn't perfect but it's close enough for me so anyway I like the way that it looks um Carl and I are just getting ready to do a second coat because again you know we want to make sure it's done right so um we're going to do a second coat just because uh that gray is kind of shows through in a few spots um because we were covering that uh spackle look and we want it to be um covered 100 percent so anyway getting ready to paint have a great day